but whether it be finances, relationships, career, life achievements, nothing's ever perfect, is it? But the question is, can you be happy if situations and circumstances in your life aren't what you want them to be? My next guest says yes. Alice Inouye has written this award-winning book. It's called Be Happy, It's Your Choice, 10 Ways to Keep Your Life Bright. She says your happiness is completely up to you, and we are so happy to have Alice here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. I love the idea that happiness is a choice, but isn't it impossible to be happy all the time, Alice? Well, you know, I think it really depends on what you view happiness as being. And I wrote the book, It's a Choice, and it's simply about looking at happiness from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I think happy, I think my kid coming home with straight A's on his report card. I see be a beautiful rainbow at the end of this rainstorm. For me, those kinds of things make me happy, but you say we can create our happiness. How so? I think you can create it based on how you choose to see things. So it's your perspective on things. It's your perspective. I like that. Yes. yes. And so if your child comes home with straight A's, that makes you happy. Great. But when you're attached to a certain outcome, then you're led to disappointment if it doesn't happen. So the idea is to see both sides of the coin. Hmm. So if your child comes home with C's and D's, you can say, well, okay, maybe he's not going to be the mental brilliant person I thought, but maybe he or she is going to be very creative. And so by seeing it in two different lights, we can stay in that balance point. And that's what happiness is. It's about seeing both sides of the coin and being right in the middle. Perfect for our show, which is called the balancing yes, act. Absolutely. So that's great. Yes. I, I love that. Here's the thing, though. Why do you think so many of us place happiness, Alice, on material things? I want to live in this house. I want to drive this. Not I want. I have to live in this house. I have to drive this car. I have to make this much money. I mean, these achievements and these material things, those things don't ultimately make us happy, do they? They don't, but I think what happens is we put a very high value on them, and we, we put a fantasy to them, ah. and when that fantasy doesn't live out, then basically we're down to not being happy. So again, it's a about staying in balance and so if you think that say money is going to bring you all this happiness and people think money I can take my kids to private school I can buy a nice house but you don't realize that if you have a lot of money there's downsides to it ask anyone who has money they will say to you it's not all great having money now people want to borrow money from you, you have to learn how to <laughs> yeah, manage your finances. You never heard of yeah. calling you saying can I borrow yeah so there's benefits and challenges to everything and so if you can start to see that everything is neither good nor bad it simply just is then you start to move towards that center instead of swinging from this this excited elated happiness mm -hmm. that's based on a fantasy and not seeing the other side of the coin you say something interesting, and I do want to make sure I get this right here. You say happiness is about recognizing that everything is serving you, whether it is being overweight, whether it's smoking, whether it's poor health. But how is that serving you? You know, that's such a great question. And I think the answer is really a good answer as well. Because if you think about it, let's say you are overweight. How is it serving you well? It's giving you an excuse to be lazy. It's giving ah. you an excuse to eat everything you want. You can not have to dress up. There's, there's a lot of benefits to it. And until you balance it, until you recognize that, that your smoking habit is serving you, it's giving you an outlet to do something when you're nervous, if you don't recognize that the way you are is serving you, you can't get to the neutral point in order to move out of it. It's a choice. Ah, isn't that interesting? So let me ask you this then, how do unconscious beliefs play into this? They play into it because we have an unconscious value on them, but it is your conscious awareness that is always going to give you the biggest difference in your life. You literally have a choice to how you want to see and react to everything that happens into your life, everything. It's all about choice. It is a choice and it's a conscious awareness. So if you recognize you have a belief system that is contrary to that, it's literally about taking the responsibility and saying, hey, how can I redirect how I'm thinking and how I'm living? It's, it's really, it's, it's, it's that simple, but it's a lot of work. So let's do this then. Let's talk about how we can close the door on bad habits and open the door to happiness. Because for a lot of people, that's the most difficult thing. In their mind, they may say, I want to do this, but it's making that effort and getting past those barriers that they're yeah. inevitably going to face. You know, and I think it's about just making that commitment and recognizing. And, and a lot of times you talk about New Year's, right? There's goals for the New Year. The resolutions. But resolutions, yeah. but they don't, they really don't, don't really pan out simply because you're not committed to them. So I think a lot of it is just making that commitment, but more importantly, recognizing that 
everything in your life, no matter what is happening, it is there to serve you. You are benefiting. Even the greatest challenges you go through, in retrospect, you look back and say, wow, that was great it happened because it caused me to find that strength within. It caused me to make a choice I would have never made before. Mm. And so when you can recognize it in the moment, instead of in retrospect, five, ten years later, that's where your value is. That's where you grow. That's how you expand. Is that how we know we're on the right track? You know when you're on the right track because you know that once you recognize it, everything happens for you, not to you. Ah. We always think this happened to me, that happened to me, but when everything happens for you, then you realize that it's for you to grow and to learn and to evolve and to become a better person and to make better choices. You know, you've convinced me, now I know I can be happy all the time. It is a conscious choice. Terrific, happy information for us this morning, Alice. Thank you so much for coming by. Good to see you. And again, the book is called Be Happy, It's Your Choice, 10 Ways to Keep Your Life Bright. For more information on Alice or the book, please visit the website, aliceinspire.com.